hey what's going on youtube welcome back to another brand new video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your amd radio and graphic card and amd radio and software for valorant this card will work on both low-end and high-end pc and it doesn't matter if you have a potato computer this guide will be helping you to optimize your fps stabilize your game fix input latency and so much more so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said let's get started with the intro All right, step number one is coming up to the driver and support page for processor and graphics from AMD. You can simply look it up on Google and you will be on this page very soon. Simply download the latest Windows drivers or look up for your graphic card in the RX series or whichever graphic card you have. I currently have a 6600 XT so I have to download this driver. I've already done it for my PC. Once you're done with that, you have to right click on any empty area of your desktop and you'll find AMD software Adrenaline Edition. This software will be automatically downloaded with your drivers but if it has not done already yet you can also download it from the link in the description below once you are over here you'll see a screen like this this is called the home page over here you have to check for updates and make sure that you're always on the latest drivers possible these driver updates makes your gpu stable with every upcoming update making it more compatible with the new games and new updates well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark there are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it you will get an email within minutes and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out gvg mall links are in the description below now once you're over here head over to the gaming section and then in the game section you have to select your game once you're over here you have to apply these settings for the gaming experience, you guys have to leave it to custom. For the AMD Radeon Super Resolution, disable it. Fluid Motion Frames 2, you have to disable it. Anti-lag should be turned on. Radeon Boost should be turned off. Radeon Chill should be turned off. Image Sharpening should be turned off. And Enhance Sync should be turned off. Wait for Refresh should always be off. In the advanced section, you'll find anti-aliasing, go with use application settings. Anti-aliasing method, go with multi-sampling. Morphological anti-aliasing should be turned off. Anisotropic filtering should be turned on and this level should be set to 2x. For texture filtering quality, head over with performance and for surface format optimization, go with enabled. Tessellation mode should be AMD optimized and OpenGL triple buffering should be turned off. Then for the display settings, you'll find AMD FreeSync, head over with AMD optimized. Scaling mode should be set to preserve aspect ratio. Integer scaling should be set to disabled. Launch with AMD Affinity should be turned off. Custom color should be turned on and over here, the saturation should be 140. For display color enhancement, you can go with use global settings and color deficiency correction, simply disable it. After that, head over to record and stream over here and then go over to settings. Make sure that record your desktop and all of these options are disabled. None of them should be enabled because it will keep the AMD overlay running in the background, which will affect your in-game FPS. Then head over to the performance tab over here and then go down to tuning. Scroll all the way down until you find your GPU and then you have AMD Smart Access Memory right beneath that. You have to enable it. By any chance, if you do not see this option, here is how you can enable it. So to enable that, you have to open up your BIOS utility and over here, head over to the Advanced tab. Then find PCI Subsystem Settings 
and in here you'll find above 4G decoding. This is different according to different motherboards but over here you have to look for above 4G decoding. This is the one that you're looking for. Simply enable it and right after that a resize bar support will appear in front of you. Click on auto over here and once you're done with that head over to the boot option and then you'll find launch CSM. You have to basically disable CSM over here and once you're done with that head over to the exit tab and simply save these settings. After that, you have to restart your PC. Once that is done, head over to the settings gear over here. And then in the system settings, make sure that check for updates is always turned on. After that, head over to display and then you'll find AMD FreeSync Premium. Enable this. Most probably your monitor supports this technology. And if it does, AMD FreeSync will help you to improve the looks of your game. GPU scaling should be turned on. Scaling mode should be set to preserve aspect ratio. Integer scaling should be disabled. Color depth, go with 10 BPC if that is available because it will boost your blacks and improve the looks of your game. Pixel format, go with RGB, full RGB over here. Display color enhancement, go with disabled. Custom color, enable that and then set your saturation to 140 and color deficiency correction should be turned off. Right over here, you will find something called overrides in which you have to disable HDCP support over here. And once that is done, head over to audio and video and make sure that AMD noise suppression is turned off. Video profile should be set to enhanced and then head over to hotkeys and turn off all hotkeys whatsoever. Lastly is the preferences tab over here in which you will find in-game overlay. You have to disable that. Web browser should be turned off. Advertisement should be turned off and tutorials should be turned off. And then go down to AMD user experience program and then simply click on leave. Then click on yes. The user experience program keeps sending reports from your PC to the servers and it consumes your CPU and network in the background which will affect your ping and it can also affect your FPS. You also have to disable animation and effects and always on top. Once that is done, feel free to close your AMD Adrenaline software. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create restore point on your PC. Look for your local disk C, click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal. Once this is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Valorant Radeon optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Okay, once you're in the FPS pack, you'll find in four simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is AMD GPU optimization. In here, I have left some GPU optimizations which you can double click and run them. It will help you to put up the best settings for your GPU, improve the SFIU priority, disable GPU energy driver and power throttling to optimize the power flow throughout your GPU and improve your GPU throughput. And last one is prioritize AMD GPU. This will help you to improve your GPU's performance by prioritizing it to render the games. Once that is done, go back, head over to the second folder, which is PC optimization, where I have left to boost PC responsiveness, disable large system cache and power throttling. You guys have to run all three of them by double clicking on them and it will help you to reduce your input latency, improve your PC's performance and improve your graphic card's power consumption. After that, the third folder is for Valorant and over here, I would like you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys if you have to apply the high priority or above normal priority. This is the most important part and I would recommend you guys not to skip this one. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files.bat and MSI utility 3.0. Let's start with the first one that is cleaning of temporary files. Once you're over here, it will simply ask you to clean temporary files. You can press any key and it will start deleting all of them. It's good to clean all temporary files because they are completely trash and they are not required. Next is the M Next is the MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator. And once you're over here, look for your graphic card. Click on the MSI button in front of it. And for the Intel priority, go with high. After that, click on apply, click on close, and you are good to go. That's how you're done with the FPS pack. Next step is the best window settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC. Go down to gaming, head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, helping you to gain extra performance. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then click on change default graphic settings over here. And you'll find optimizations for windowed games. Simply turn this thing on. It will help you to reduce your input latency and also reduce your render latency. After that, go back to graphics click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of valorant 
Once you're over here, go down to Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and you'll find Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. Click on Add and make sure that this application is already added in this list. Head over to Options, select High Performance, and then click on Save, and this will help you to utilize your GP to render the game. Once that is done, simply close it and you are good to go. Drop into the game and enjoy the best FPS possible in Valorant. So that was it guys for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We have also rolled out channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership to support the channel. We'll see you all in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.